What's up, what's up, Game Wars? Chief Rocky here with another Infinite Lagrange video. And in this video, I want to cover going on reconnaissance missions in the scattered asteroid belts. Okay, so the scattered asteroid belts are, how can I say, very, very peculiar, right? And they're also very dangerous. One, you're limited to what ships you can use in the scattered asteroids. Now, there's benefits. And there's cons to that, right? And I've covered that in a previous video, right? Especially when you're trying to, like, escape blockades or escape being bullying. Uh, it really kind of limits one player trying to destroy you. They, they have to basically combine forces to try to do that. Uh, but we're not talking about a previous video. We're talking about scouting a reconnaissance, right? So you can see in a video I, I recorded a couple weeks ago. I, again, I never record anything and then immediately post it, especially in a game that's all PvP. Because <laughs> I'm just, I'm just kind of like dooming myself to being uh, found <laughs> and killed. Anyways, you can see that one of my union member, Demonfire, uh, well, we saved a spot for him in this certain asteroid belt where there's plenty of resources. Um, and instead of scouting ahead in um, increment areas, right, and kind of mapping around it to see where all the dangerous areas are, he just sent a fleet down there. Now, in the early game, it is critically important that you find resource spots as quickly as possible, right? Spe especially now finding out in phase two that the map is a little smaller and the resource spots are a little bit more tighter. It is incredibly difficult to lock down those areas. Allowing your vessel to get destroyed like this, especially since it took him two and a half hours to send his recon fleet here, he just lost two and a half hours, and he'll have to send another fleet down. That is really bad, okay? Somebody else came and took that spot, okay? Um, and we basically had to wait for them to leave. Uh, eventually, that person got into a war, and we got it. Um, so he, he definitely lost. I tried the best I could to get there and, and beat it as soon as I saw it, right? I'm not, I'm not always in game. It's a phone game. So I take my time. I come in, log in, do my thing, and then log out. But I check. Uh, I, I want to say about every 30, 40 minutes. Uh, if I'm really busy, it's every other hour. But I'm constantly checking. So it, it just really sucked that that happened, right? So in this video, I really want to cover and, and, and showcase, hey, listen, like, with these asteroid belts, you gotta take the time, okay? You got to scout these in incremental pieces. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. All right, so here I am scouting an area a little bit further up north than where I am. And you can already tell, there's two other players. One, one that we're allied with, right? And then one that we're semi-neutral to, right? Orange is basically like the neutral color, like the hey, you're there. Um, and in phase two, you could actually set colors to other unions, uh, red being enemy and blue being friendly, right? The enemy one kind of perplexes me because it matches the same color as pirates. But hey, who am I to question it, right? <laughs> Anyways, you could see where I'm sending my fleet. I have to recon this area. Now, I don't hit the reconnaissance button, right? The explore, because it's automatically going to send your fleet back. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, do what I just did there and make sure that uh, you, you put the little circle. Now it's important to note that that operation area I put just outside the scattered asteroid belt. And then I go in and scout further afterwards. That is because about 90% of the time, actually greater than that, I wanna say about 99% of the time, the pirate blockades are inside of the asteroid belt, the scattered asteroid belts. There's very little to fear on the outer outskirts of those asteroid, uh, scattered asteroids. Other than the uh, fleets, the pirate fleets that actually guard certain resource nodes. And it's usually the, the level four or above asteroid nodes that they're actually guarding. Um, but you, you got to take your time in heading into these scattered asteroid belts. You're more than likely, if you just jut right in, you're going to run into a pirate blockade. And you wasted all that time. Time is a precious commodity in this game. All right. Finding those resource areas, those resource spots, are super critical. So you want to make sure that you, that you get it right the first time. And take your time, plan out your reconnaissance area, make sure that you take the time to get there and really secure it. 
instead of just sending some random recon over there uh, in some random trajectory and just kind of praying that it's going to hit the mark and not get killed yeah, that's just a that's just a bad gamble again especially in the early game um, a lot of people are scrambling for those good resource spots um, and you're just kind of you're kind of losing them kind of quickly so other than that that's all I got I hope this information helps uh, especially I'm really gearing this towards new players coming to the game this game does have some very enjoyable aspects to it uh, but some of these things can be kind of frustrating if you didn't know so that's all I got Chief Rocky out